this is the most appealing part of the process. It's like Christmas, it's unwrapping presents. I had to wear my 12 days of Christmas shirt for the occasion. Yep, I got that one on video. Ready? I'm gonna make you pop a bar. And I'm gonna break my bench before I do this. One cut done, 19 more to go. There you go. There. Just so you all know, this is the imperfectly perfect Sarah bed. <laughs> Bottles are going to be sufficient. So, don't glue the last board because you're going to smack it on. We don't want glue on the outside. Imagine it's my head. Really go at it. There you go. Wait. Huh? Hang on. Grab a hammer and hit it. <laughs> hit it? Yeah. 
just like it was supposed to do that. It's not helpful when you're recording me. <laughs> Starting the saw, always the fun part. Especially, you know. It's like people who can't pee under pressure. I can't saw under pressure. There you go. That's not. They're gonna know I didn't start this. <laughs> there comes a point in everyone's career which they realize they need a longer throw handle or a husband with an arm that's slightly stronger. <laughs> Would you like me to drill that hole for you, babe? Wait, you mean continue the hole you already started because you're my personal power tool? Yes. Am I up and down? Yep. Creamy. There you go. Is it? Yep, pull back. Is it heavy enough for you? I don't know if can go. Let's see if she feels. Hey, look at that. Going in circles. There you go. Now, drive that screw. Finally, no, that doesn't work. Set the bubble up at this point. No, they slow you in. See if she can lift it that high. Ta-da! So there you have it. We have a bench top and this has been an incredibly fun project. We wanted to make the bench top and the vise because once you have a bench top and a vise then you can now make the legs on this surface. Um, so this has been kind of fun to work on making a bench without a bench 
from a novice's point of view using basic hand tools. So this will be a really good series because I tell people when you first get into hand tools, the very first thing you should make is your bench. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be gorgeous. It just has to be functional. And that is what you then have to make the rest. But this one does look absolutely gorgeous. It looks really beautiful and it's done amazingly well to a high degree of quality because my wife is absolutely amazing. So you've been having fun? I've been having lots of fun with you. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we'll be doing the rest of this. Um, coming up soon, we'll be doing the legs, and then we'll be doing the finishing at least two more videos. Um, if the plans are available now, you'll find those down below. Um, otherwise, you have to wait until we get the last video out so we can get everything finalized to get those plans on there. So tune back in next time. We'll be having more fun with Sarah in the shop, and uh, maybe we'll be doing some more with her in the future. Uh, it is one of the goals of this channel um, to get Sarah so that she can do this full-time as well. And for that, I want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon, members here on the channel, people who've clicked that join button. Uh, you are really starting to get us towards that. This is being, becoming a bigger and bigger thing and we want to actually turn it into more of a, uh, a full family event where we can all work together and, uh, and show you hand tool woodworking from many different points of view. So thank you to all the patrons, everyone who's scrolling over here on the side. You're helping make this happen. So I think that'll about do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. So normally around this time, we have a dad joke. However, because Sarah's in the shop, we're going to give you something far, far better. A mom joke. See, you no longer can call me a novice now. I have a vice. It's no longer no vice. <laughs>